our favorite podcaster is back. Because, yeah, folks, it's time to get into season three of Truth Be Told. Let's jump into the review of that right now. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the channel today for another review. And today we're going to be reviewing season three of Truth Be Told returning to Apple TV Plus January 20th with a new episode weekly. Now, I have always loved this series. I always like to kind of attest to this series being one of the original Apple TV Plus slates, you know, one of the launching foundation series that you know, made you choose if you were gonna to subscribe to Apple TV Plus. And since then, it's been amazing. And it just keeps getting better and better. And frankly, I'll be honest, I started to watch a few episodes and I was like, I'm gonna do a few and then I'll do my review. That way, you know, it's non-spoiler. So, you know, I, I'm, I'm just gonna get you enough information about what I thought about what I seen. But it, by the end of it, I watched all 10 episodes and I was like, yeah, <laughs> here we are. It was really that good. You Once you start, you're gonna be hooked. Obviously, you can't, uh, you, you know, you don't get to watch them all at one time, uh, but you will want to return weekly for each new episode because, yeah, it's, it's really it's really good. And I, I, I had my reserves. I was like, how could it get any better than season two? I mean, obviously, season one was amazing. I thought season two really came back strong. But this one, I was like, well, how could you get any better? And alongside of uh, Octavia Spencer, who is Poppy, if you don't know, comes Gabrielle Union, who plays this principal, Eva, who really shakes up this season. And in this season, you you have, um, because each season is like its own anthology. While you still are using the same characters, seasons aren't connecting. Because now it's always about what will uh, Poppy's new season of her podcast be. Uh, and with that, she turns a focus into a disappearance case of missing girls which ultimately ends up being about human trafficking and this was i gotta say like with a very sensitive topic and 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 if you did not know just by the way january is human trafficking prevention month so this comes like right on time um and while it does take a a, a glimpse in and in, into this dark dark corner of society it does have a very informative side to it as well, too, to help uh, further the education, but yet the prevention of young ladies and, and just kids, periods, uh, from being human traffic. Uh, but Poppy in this season uh, turns now to the she turns the media attention to several young missing girls um, and, and, and she teams up alongside of this principal in Gabrielle Union uh, and Eva, who plays Eva to really um take which which is a really risky decision for them both to take because they're subjected to a lot of scrutiny but it's not really a challenge that you could just jump in and jump out because you know this is a very sensitive subject and and and, and with this being the focus of her podcast you know and and if you know poppy from the previous seasons you know any single time that she gets involved with something it, it becomes extremely dangerous for everyone involved but beyond that, Poppy has a little bit of extra motivation this season because she's looking to redeem herself and, and improve herself. And now her interest is into these missing girls where no one else's interest was. So, you know, she 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 takes every bit of her resources to do so. Um, and, and Poppy is risky. You know, she's just a podcaster. She doesn't have a badge, but she certainly take, takes risk after risk after risk each and every episode here. And with the subject of, of sex trafficking here, you know, you're going to shake when you shake that tree, you know, a lot of p potential things can 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 fall. And in this season, it's all about who's up top. There's so many twists and turns, so many unexpected development and revelations in this. I, you know, no matter what I tell you here now, you're just not going to be prepared for how this season wraps, you know. Uh, the capstones get involved very heavily in this season. They have a new approach here. Um, the 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 this season really kind of taps into politics a little bit as well too, as they get into politics. So I say, um, and, and 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 as I said, like there's 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 victims, and then there become more victims, and then there becomes more and more people of interest. You just 
it, it's hard to prepare you for what's going to happen. And then when you talk about Marcus here, things start to get really shaky within his household. I don't even want to give you any bit of clues here, but I'm going to say that like things hit close for Marcus and things get beyond unexpected in terms of what's happening in the Killer Brew household. Um, and then Eva, uh, again, played by Gabrielle Union, she's not just a company uh, poppy. We learn a lot about her background. Uh, and and, and she, when she steps onto the podcast, things get real. You know what I mean? And Poppy and her daddy, uh, Shreve, Ooh, we learned a lot about the two of them. Hoo, 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 hoo. But as I said, the deeper and deeper you get in the season, more twists and turns, more revelations. Nothing and no one is what it seems. And I, that's the most biggest thing I can tell you about this review right now. Nothing and no one is what or who they seem. So at the end of this, it's all about Poppy trying to figure out who's at the top of this sex trafficking ring and bringing these missing girls home and getting as much attention on them as possible. Uh, and as I mentioned, Poppy is a podcaster, not a cop. She gets herself in endless danger in this season. So you're going to have to see. Uh, but I got to tell you, man, with the conclusion of the season, I have no clue where they're gonna, and how or what they're going to do for next season. But I'm so glad that we're getting more. But as I said, folks, you got to turn in and tune in for Truth Be Told returning January 20th. New episodes weekly. Folks, if you've been checking this out this entire time, you are so hyped. But if you have not, definitely go check out the other seasons and then get ready for season three because it's, it's a wild one, folks. But yeah, folks, jump in the comments. Let me know your thoughts, your assignment for this season. And as always, stay tuned for more reviews very soon.